Today we are going to talk about how to use R Markdown as a tool for writing. You may be familiar with some of these ideas already, but just to make sure we are all on the same page, let's review it from the basic. In R Studio, we go to New File and then R Markdown and then choose a name, say for example Test in this example and that will open a preloaded R Markdown file. You can see some of the stuff here are known as the header and some of these are known as code chunk and rest of it is known as the body of the R Markdown. We are just deleting all of it so that we can start from the scratch. Let's knit it to an HTML file. We have to specify a file name in a specific folder um, and that will generate the HTML file. See the HTML file is saved on the same folder where the RMD file was saved. We can um, write down different sections using the hash sign and the name of the sections and um, that will create different sections within the HTML file. If we need it in the HTML file we will see these five different sections. If we want to create subsections all we need to do is to add two hash signs before the subsection names and that will provide us with the subsections within the R markdown file. Alright, so within the data section let us insert a R code chunk from the insert menu and in here we can simply write any uh, code say for example I'm using it just as a calculator to calculate 1 plus 4 equals 5 and you can see both the code and the results in the HTML file. We can give a name of the chunk say sum was the name and we can say equal equals false to get rid of the code we can simply see the results in the R markdown file. We can also write words within this R markdown file and also we can make it uh, rich text. Say for example if we add star sign um, on both sides of a word um, it will be italic and if we add um, two star signs um, on both sides of a word that will be bold. So in this example when we need it we will see that the data set is italic and the CCHS is um, bold uh, just because we have done one star both sides of data set and two star on both sides of the CCHS. We can also include bullet points within the um, R markdown file using um, the static sign um, and with appropriate amount of indenting that means using white space before the lines we can create the secondary list um, and depending on how many list objects and how many hierarchy you want to keep you can simply add the static signs and minus, minus signs to create this kind of lists. We can also link um, different websites uh, within the R markdown output just by putting um, square bracket on both sides of the word and parenthesis on both sides of a given link and that will create a link 
um, in the R markdown file and if you simply click it it will take you to that particular link if we want to add a plot we can simply insert a code chunk from the insert menu give a name plot in the code chunk and let's just plot a very basic plot um, and also we want echo equals false because we don't want to see the code we all we need is to see the plot see there is no code we can simply see the plot in here if you want to import a plot that was already saved in your hard drive say within the same folder where your R markdown file is saved we can import that plot um, in our um, R markdown output and to do that let us insert another code chunk name it plot saved and also set equal equals false and um, we need to use uh, neat r package and there is a function called include underscore graphics we have to mention the name of the file test.png um, that is also within the same folder as this rmd file and that will import that second plot um, in your rmd output um, however notice that the second plot was slightly smaller than the original so we need to include um, out dot width and you have to specify um, in what percent you want to see that plot in terms of the width of the RMD and that will produce you the plot with that amount of width now let us um, work with a specific data set say for example within the data sets package there are some data sets um, and let's just say I want to take a look at the help files uh, within this data sets package to find out what are the data sets that are available here and in here I can see there is a um, data called ER quality we are just going to include this um, air quality data within our RMD file. To do that, we include another code chunk. We um, give the header of that dataset air quality. We run the RMD file to see that the header is in the RMD file let us give a name of that code chunk and hide the code so that we can only see the table without the code um, of it and also if we want to see a nicer table using a cable function helps um, but as we can see for this cable function we need to load a package um, that has this uh, cable function and let us just load the package and you can see this table looks a bit nicer compared to the original R output we can also try to show the summary from a given model say for example in this case um, we are going to insert a R code chunk we are going to give that code chunk a name also we don't want to show the code so we set echo equals false um, look at the variables we have in this particular data set let us um, fit a linear regression model with the covariates uh, month and day and I'm just going to copy paste this and fill out the formula and I set ozone as the outcome variable in this particular regression and I need to set the data name or data argument in this particular command 
and then I want to show the results of this linear regression fit I need it to see the results and the results are the usual outputs from the R model fitting we can simply use the cable function um, with the with the help of tidy um, to show a nicer version of this particular output um, this tidy command is coming from a package called broom we load this package and then we run the output and we can see the summary of this um, fit um, we don't need to see all of these digits so we restrict to only two digits and that gives us um, a nicer output table that we can present in our um, rmd file so in the in this last part we are going to show you how to use bibliography within the r markdown say we go to google scholar um, and we find a particular paper and we simply extract the bibliographic information from that paper from Google Scholar we open a text file and we name that text file as ref.bib and we get rid of the text and we open that bib file within the R Studio. we just paste it within that bib file and on the top on the header of this rmd file um, we need to add a couple of lines the first line is bibliography and then within the um, square bracket and quote we need to mention the name of that bibliography we named it ref.bib but you can name something else as well we also need to mention what style we want to use to show the bibliography um, here I'm using Appalag which is a very popular style and also I want the citations uh, to be linked so whenever it is showing any citations you can simply click on the link to directly go to the reference as we have just added the header but didn't add any citation uh, within the text file or the RMD file we will not see any reference um, to see the references um, at the very end add a new section called um, reference and then copy the name of the um, bibliographic reference and paste that name um, within the RMD file but you have to include the square bracket and uh, within that square bracket we first start with a at sign and then paste the name of the bibliographic reference that we find at the top of the bibliographic reference that we copied from the Google Scholar see the vendor is name um, automatically comes up um, and also the reference is al already added at the end of the RMD file if we want to add another reference we can simply go to the quotation mark um, from the scholar to get that bibliographic reference say for example we are interested about a paper um, that talks about the high dimensional variable selection we select the paper we go to the quote mark we go to the bib text we copy the bib text information and then we paste that bib text information in the ref.bib the first um, line includes the name of that bibliographic information and we can similarly add another reference uh, using the square bracket and add sign and uh, by adding the name of that bibliographic information um, in here the name was Wasserman 2009 high and that will include another bibliographic reference um, at the end of the reference and you can also see that reference being added in your introduction section as well so that basically concludes our today's lab on how to use different functionalities within the R markdown 
to generate a document with citations, with figures, with tables and with different sections.